All right, folks. We out here picking out Hannah, a house site. Wow. All right, now listen. This ain't gonna be no nothing that's gonna happen tomorrow. I've lived in a tiny house for six years. Yeah. 192 square foot. Yeah, so we've got Merle out here rolling in deer crap. And we got a picture of a of a good deer right there last night. That's why we're trying to be quiet. That's why we're whispering. And trying not to leave so much scent. But we're trying to figure out a house place, you know, a place to put the house. Got a big hay field in the back back here, huge hay field. And then got uh, got these big pretty oaks and hickories in here. And trying to figure out a place to put a house that won't booger up the hunting. And have a good view. What do you think, kid? That's a pretty good view right there. Closing on this land tomorrow. I'm just glad we're getting it. Yeah. She's tickled to death to be buying her first piece of property. Ooh, ooh. I say, I bought Kansas too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she got half of Kansas too. Okay, so now listen. This piece of ground touches our family ground, family which is just right through there. I mean, and it touches yeah, the it. The whole property line on the back side is family land. Yeah. Grandparents own it. So what we're trying to do now is figure out the best place to do it where we don't have to cut any of these big oaks. Of course, that one right there's got to go because it's dead anyway. But uh, leave the big hickories and the oaks and you know, and not mess with anything that's here. This was a food plot, so the people were using this as a food plot. So there's a lot of clover and stuff already coming up out here and the deer just hammering it heavy. But if it was me, kid, I know now, that's west, and then east is, of course, straight behind us. So uh, you, you, you're about gonna have to face it the way the the way the property's land. You know, afternoon sun, you won't. It's gonna hit. It's not gonna be hitting the gable end if you face it this way. If we ran it this way, you don't want it hitting the gable end, do you? Well, I don't want it hitting. You know, you really don't want it hitting you. When you're trying to see. Yeah, all the windows and stuff. You know, in the in the front of the back of the house, and I would figure this would be the front. So. Y'all tell me what you think. What you think, kid? I don't know. I just want I just want a house. <laughs> she just wants a house. I'll she wants house. something bigger than eight house. by twenty four. Bigger than, you know, normal people's living room. Yeah, her house is eight foot wide and twenty four feet long. That's her house. Yeah. And she's been living in it for six years. So now, you know, I've had six years of that. We're gonna build a daggone house. Yeah, we're fixing to build her a nice one. So we got uh sawmill we gotta start cutting cutting a bunch of pine for framing and floor system and rafters and she wants the big beams and all that crap right there so uh, that'll be coming up I'm maybe possibly when are you thinking kid mm -hmm. we gotta have we ASAP gotta, she's ready yeah, I think we she's, got, she's like a whole lot of stuff to do because we ain't got any wood right now at all we gotta cut everything yeah and we got to get water way back here and we got to get power way back here so Probably going to go on a wood foundation, put the, the block wall up like we did on the other house. And, uh, it's and not put, flat enough for concrete. It is. I mean, you can you can lay block and then backfill and then... Fancy. Yeah, but we can't... I can cut the floor system. I can't cut... Concrete. Yeah, I can't cut the concrete. You know, I can't... I can't help with the cost of concrete. So we control what we can. We just put it on wood. Plus, I'd rather... I like crawl space. I don't know. That way I can get under there and look at my plumbing. I can plumbing. have me a little storm shelter. Yeah, you can. Because you'll be about three courses high up on the hill right there. And you'll be about seven courses down here on this side. Because she's talking about building a pretty good size one. Like 2,500 square foot for all her mounts and stuff. Yeah. But we're going to keep it as economical as possible. We're going to try to cut every stick of wood in it and save, save, some, uh, save some money. Mm-hmm. So y'all stay tuned in the future. Now I'm not saying it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a little bit, but uh, this is gonna be the this is gonna be the uh, the, home site. the home site right here is what we're thinking. Hey y'all, have a good one. Appreciate, Appreciate y'all.